Hi, I'm um, checking in with day seven, session seven, I should, no, in fact, session eight, no, it was the seven, gosh, I can't remember now, um, five, six, seven, eight, yes, session eight. So, today was session eight, and of the radiotherapy treatment, and this morning I phoned up my breast care nurses, um, to just ask for some advice because of what happened on Monday and with a little bit of the confusion regarding the two different machines and that one being more powerful than the other um, and that I wasn't to go on it for all my treatment yet all my schedule was that I was on that machine. So anyway I was speaking to somebody when I got there today um, because Louise arranged that, that's my breast care nurse who's absolutely incredible and um, so that put my mind at rest greatly. Then I went in, had the treatment and um, following that I spoke to um, the radiographer who has been assigned to help me with any queries that I might have and um, she discussed the issue of constipation and said that apparently the doctor said that that would have nothing to do with the radiotherapy or the tamoxifen so wondered whether I was drinking enough or whether I was eating enough fibre and, and, uh, and then the other thing was um, that the bruising uh, she didn't think was anything to do with tamoxifen either but um, offered me a blood test so I said yes I'd love a blood test because I was actually thinking very recently within the last few days how I'd very much like a new blood test and was I going to get one um, when I finished this course of treatment and I was told that no that wasn't standard that I'd get a blood test and that um, what happens is that you're released and then you're not really seen for a year or something like this which I don't actually think she, the lady got right but um, I got the gist of what she was trying to say so anyway got a blood test had a blood test and I will get the results for that soon and um, luckily I have an incredibly good book and for those of you that have been on Gerson therapy or know about Gerson therapy will know that um, they do everything naturally and it's a brilliant brilliant therapy quite time-consuming it's a full-time job um, but there's a brilliant book and I'm just trying to think of the author I can't remember the name it's a great big book but it actually teaches you how to read your blood results so if you are somebody going down the natural route and you need help in this reading your blood results and what everything means this book is the one for you and you'll be able to find it on Amazon just look in Gerson, do some Gerson searches and, and it's for the practitioners, people that um, are actually helping others through their, their Gerson healing um, it's a book really for them to help their uh, clients I would say patients but I don't think that's the right word so anyway um, I was told also today to make sure, because it's a sunny day, to cover up. And I said, what, you mean my face too? And he said, oh, no, 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 you don't need to cover up your face. He said, just the area where you're having the treatment. He said, you must keep it covered. It's important, very important, keep it covered for at least uh, three to four months or so. And, and then I spoke to somebody in the actual theater and I said, when is it that I'm going to be allowed to go in the sun? I said, and she said, oh, you will be able to go in the sun eventually, but you will have to keep that area covered because it will be so sensitive compared to the rest of it. The rest of your body will always remain sensitive. So I was like, wow. I mean, it's sensitive as it is. So um, the one thing that they did not mention was about covering up my neck. Now, I have been wearing jumpers and all of the rest of it because, believe it or not, despite the sun being out, it's still not as warm as I would like it but they have also been giving me some um, radiotherapy on the neck area because my neck is red and also it's to go above this clavicle area so um, 
I suppose I'm going to have to be walking around in scarves all summer, which is not too bad because I don't mind scarves. But, um, yeah, what can I say? There you have it. Anyway, I feel like, um, I feel like I learnt a lot today from those people that I spoke to in the hospital and I felt a lot more comfortable having had a good thorough explanation which actually is a tricky to explain back to anybody because all of those scientific words as much as um, when they're said to you you understand what the person is saying I don't know it well enough to be able to repeat it back to anyone but I do understand where he was coming from and I appreciate the time taken to explain things thoroughly for me because it's good to know what's happening especially since radiotherapy isn't like oh take a glass of water it's something like a little bit bigger deal than that so um, I hope everybody is well look after yourselves and um, I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you are and um, make it so God bless.